Well, in Class 3A, three teams from Acadiana, Iota, Eunice, and Kaplan all remain alive battling for a state title. At 6, we discussed Iota's game against Sterlington. Now we focus on the all Acadian matchup between Kaplan and Eunice, two teams that haven't met since 2010. That game came in the opening round of the playoffs that season. Kaplan won 21-14. The Pirates are a bully of a team that embraces their coach's persona. They call him Tank Loti for a reason, and the Pirates are tough, physical, and can grind with the best of them. But all that grinding has left Kaplan in the same spot the past few seasons, stuck just plays away from state championship berths. The past two years, Kaplan has lost in the semifinals. Perhaps this year, they get over the hump. We're peaking at the right time. That's good. We started playing our best football probably week 11. Then it got better week 12 and pretty steady, pretty steady last week, week 13. So we'll see. We're a good team when we play our best we live. You know what I mean? And I believe, and I, my team, I believe that we're going to win this game. Now, Eunice is seeking its first trip to the Dome in 20 years. Tomorrow's game will feature two contrasting styles. Kaplan strength, Bobcats are more of a speed-oriented team. Even though these teams haven't played a meaningful game in years, they often meet in preseason scrimmages, and Paul Trosclair knows more than he wishes about the Pirates. I, I, know, I know too much about Kaplan. That's the problem. And uh, Kaplan is the most physical team. Uh, I think one of the most physical teams in the state of Louisiana. And uh, you, they're not trying to trick anybody. And if you get in their way, they're going to run over you. That's just the way they play football. Seth Lewis and I will be live tomorrow in Eunice at 6 o'clock. Mike Carter will be in Iota as we preview all mm -hmm. of the matchups yeah. ahead of the semifinals. It's about to get busy, isn't it? Yep. All right. Thanks, Andrew. Stay with us. We'll be right back.